Hi, in this video, I'll be replacing hard drive M.2 SSD that was sent by Dell. So this is the receipt and here indicates that we run a diagnostics with Dell and they determine that the hard drive is the cause of the computer for not turning on. So in this video, uh, I'll be replacing the hard drive that they sent it to me. Hopefully this hard drive here has already pre-installed with the Dell setup and the windows on it. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let me identify the model here. If I take a look at the back, you should be able to see that the model for this would be P92F. So that is the model at the very bottom there is P92F. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is to remove the back cover. Here I'll be using the T5, a torque T5 screwdriver. Alright, the next step is to open up the back cover. I'll be using a metal prying tool. So the insertion, you would have to find a gap between the black and the silver and that is where the line is for you to separate the palm rest and the back cover. So once I push in a little bit, I have enough room, I'll be using a plastic prying tool instead of the metal. Uh, that is because I do not want to make any scratches on the plastic using the metal that might actually scratch the computer. Alright, so that is a little bit harder than I thought. Once you remove that, um, the first thing you want to do is to disconnect the battery if you want to. To disconnect the battery, technically we just have to remove the battery here. So let's double check here. We have the RAM, 1 and 2. That is the SSD drive. I wonder which is the SSD drive that we need to remove. 
let's see if we can just disconnect this so by disconnected by disconnecting this uh, connector you would just disconnect the battery you don't have to remove entirely next step is to get a Phillips screwdriver the SSD is located on the right side of the uh, Can we slide it up? Well, I think the way they design, I would have to remove the battery, so. Okay, once the battery is removed, let's put it on the side. We then can now remove the uh, the hard drive here by sliding it to the right. As you can see that the hard drive has already uh, some kind of corrosion built up right around here. You can see that this little green thing. So there probably there was some moisture or somehow got onto the computer. So can see that the copper here has some kind of uh, green stuff those are the uh, corrosion okay that is the old hard drive this is the new hard drive from Dell Okay, for those of you who are interested to add additional M.2, you can add it here on the secondary slot. And this is also the, um, the battery. If you have a bad battery that you need to replace, the battery model is XG4K6. Okay, let's reconnect the uh, the battery cable and reconnect the back cover here. So for those of you who are interested um, with the hard drive replacement, please check the link down in the description below. With the new hard drive that you're going to purchase, um, if it's from Dell, more likely they have installed a Windows on it. And if you purchase it from Amazon or third party seller like eBay, Amazon, whatnot, um, you do not have the Windows installed because all the, all the, um, those hard drive the m.2 you buy from amazon then they they are just blank that doesn't have anything on it right so what you have to do is probably buy one of those uh, usb installer or you can download it and create one from yourself off of the microsoft website so technically you don't have to buy you just need to buy a usb um, i think it's 16 gigabytes or higher then you can 
download the Windows, set it up as a bootable USB, and fresh install the Windows onto the uh, M.2 drive. All right, so I'm going to turn on the computer and see what happens next. Hopefully that the Dell preloads the uh, windows on it. So because this is the uh, new hard drive and we disconnected the battery, uh, the Dell may take some time to boot up because the BIOS or the CMOS have got reset so the computer will take some time to, to boot up. This is the only time that it takes a longer time to boot up. Once this thing is shut down completely, the next boot up would be a lot faster. Um, yep, so that is the order that they sent it to me. Yeah, it just shows that the time of the day uh, is incorrect. Please run the setup to reset up the time and date. But for now, I'm just going to continue. I do not want to set up the date. I can set it up in the Windows. I just wanted to boot up and see if it loads to Windows. If it doesn't load to Windows, then more likely I would just have to uh, uh, fresh install the Windows onto this new hard drive. Yeah, it doesn't look like the computer has Windows on it because every time I turn it on, it just boot to this uh, support assistant, meaning that we have to fresh install the Windows on this brand new hard drive. But anyway, this video is just to replace the hard drive, the M.2, it does not include the Windows installation. I have a separate Windows um, for the installation if you want to check it out. Here it says no bootable device found. So that means the hard drive is there, it recognizes the hard drive, but there's no Windows on it. I'll fresh in install Windows 11 and thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.